Good morning guys. It is Arika Misha. It is Saturday morning and this morning we are having steak and eggs and some southern style diced hash brown potatoes. Let's see. I have some southern style uh, diced hash brown potatoes. Uh, Publix brand. I've got my old faithful Publix grade A jumbo eggs and I have some steak. Now the steak that I'm using, it's the thin sliced steak. Um, I cut it into little small pieces. I'm just going to pan fry it. Um, as you guys can see, it's the thin steak, you know, like the steak strips. And I just took those and just cut them into the little pieces. So that way I can go ahead and pan fry those up. So we are going to have steak and eggs and potatoes this morning. So I uh, just wanted to come and let you guys know what's on the menu this morning, guys. It's Saturday morning, guys. It's breakfast time. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, I am back. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my southern style, uh, get my potatoes in the oven so they can be cooking. I've already got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven so they can be cooking while I'm pan frying the steak and I'm um, getting the eggs scrambled. So I'm just spraying my pan of my old faithful, my canola oil cooking spray. That way my potatoes don't stick. All right, and I'm just gonna get me some potatoes for it now. Get my potatoes all down, nice and even there. Nice and flat, break up these little chunks that I've got here. Break those up. Might be able to fit a little bit more on here. Okay. Some more on here. Okay. All right. So we got our potatoes all down, nice and flat. Yep, you guys can see. Got our potatoes down, all nice and flat. And I am gonna spray the top of these. And the canola oil will help them get all nice and brown and cook up. I'm going to put some salt across the top. Alright, I'm going to add some pepper. Give these potatoes a little help because I don't see any season on them. Alright, and of course y'all know the star of the show. Mm-hmm. Yep, my parsley flakes. If you don't know, now you know. All right, let's get this green on here. Make it all nice and pretty. That's what we're doing. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven for about, probably about 15 to 20 minutes. Because I want them to get all nice and brown and golden brown and delicious looking. Yeah, delicious looking. Y'all heard me. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get the potatoes in the oven. 400 degrees. I'll put them in there for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, if they're not brown enough and, you know, cooked enough, I'll put them in there for like maybe another two or three minutes. So, let's go ahead and go 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And we'll see how that go. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back getting ready to pan fry my steak. Um, I've already scrambled my eggs. I'll show you guys that in a little while. But I am getting ready to pan fry the steak. Um, and as you can see, I've got my pan. It's getting all nice and hot. And I'm just going to, um, I've already got my steak, of course, seasoned, marinated overnight. So as this butter melts, I want to add my steak before the butter totally melts away. That way, my uh, steak can get, you know, some of that nice butter flavor. So, all right. Let's get our pan covered here in the butter. And let's get the steak. Let's get our steak here all nice and laid in the pan. Okay. 
And you see how I've got that steak cut? Got it cut all nice and small and thin. Nothing like some good old pan fried steak. Some scrambled eggs and some potatoes. Ooh wee. Nothing like a good old fashioned breakfast. And this thin steak cooks quick, guys. It cooks real quick, so that's one thing I like about it. It cooks real quick. Try to squeeze as much as I can in here. enough for now. Okay. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see that steak. Yep. Pan frying away. Don't take long. Don't take long at all. Lip. Quick and easy. Yeah, that's what I like about this thin steak. When I'm doing steak uh, for breakfast, steak and eggs for breakfast, it doesn't take long for the thin steak to cook. And I cut it into small pieces too. That helps. Everybody all flipped over. And of course, y'all know I'm going to have to, you know, do a little taste test. Make sure everything tastes all, tastes good, you know. Make sure everything all nice and good for the family. So. And see, as I'm cooking the steak, it's taking in all that butter. So, that butter is going to help my steak stay nice and juicy and soft. Because y'all know. Steak, once it gets cold, it get all tough and rough. I can't stand that. So, you use butter, and that helps That helps it. And tenderizer, of course. Um, but the butter helps it stay nice and juicy and soft. You know, not getting all hard. And Yeah. See? So, you see, I've got like a little, still got a little juices and butter in the pan. That's going to help my steak stay all nice and juicy. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I want them to get real nice and brown guys. I want my steak to get real nice and brown. And I flipped them over because it was time to flip them over. I feel like two minutes. This thin steak cooks really fast. So I've already got them flipped over. In another minute or two, I'm going to flip them back over because I want to make sure that other side gets really, really brown. And then I'm going to flip them over and let that side get brown a little bit more. And then that'll be it for the steak. Um, I've got the potatoes in the oven. Let me check on those. They're looking good, not brown enough, so I will check back in on the potatoes. That's why I put my potatoes in first, because they take the longest to cook. It doesn't take long to cook this steak. So, and let me show you guys my eggs real quick. Got my eggs all nice and pretty on this plate here, this white plate. I've got my eggs here already, nice and scrambled all nice and golden brown. And I've got that leftover space for my steak. You guys can see that. Those are my scrambled eggs. Mmm, look at them. Oh, they look so good. I gotta add a little parsley to them. But yeah, okay. So as you can see, when your pan starts to get a little brown at the bottom, that's letting you know, okay. It's brown down there. So you can go ahead and get them flipped over. Get your meat all flipped over. See, that side's all nice and brown for you. And be careful when you're flipping your meat. Be careful. I am a professional. I am a professional. I've been cooking all my life. That makes me a professional. I ain't got to have no cooking show to be no professional. I'll go to a culinary school. Put my heat down a little bit there. 
cooking all my life. You've been cooking all your life, child, please. You are a professional. You gotta go to no coronary school and get no license. I've been cooking all my life. That's license enough. So, I'll see how my steak gets. And then I just kind of start tossing it around like that. And that's it, guys. That's it for the steak. Y'all see it? That is it for the steak. Quick cook. We cooked that in what? Maybe three minutes? Quick and easy for the steak, guys. You know, the scrambled eggs only take, what, three minutes to scramble your eggs. So we've got our steak all ready. And I'm going to go check on those potatoes. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, this is the final results. I've got all my steak taken care of. I've got my eggs all scrambled and the potatoes. They took about 25 minutes in the oven. So, um, but yeah, this is Saturday morning breakfast, guys. Steak, egg, and potatoes. You know I'm taking y'all in. Look at that. Y'all see that parsley? Oh, it is so beautiful. Look at those potatoes, nice golden brown. I didn't cook them too hard. You know, I don't want them all hard. I don't want them crunchy. So, you know, I left a little, left that softness in them, but I still toasted them enough, as you guys can see. And look at those eggs, nice golden brown eggs, and the steak back there. Let me raise this up so y'all can see that steak. Ooh, look at that steak. I, I gotta take y'all in. Y'all gotta see. Ooh, look at the steak. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all nice and juicy and buttery and all flavored with all those seasons and herbs and spices. All right, y'all. Look at the golden brown potatoes. Look at them. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. I got to go. I got to go eat. All right. This is Arika Misha. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.